Good evening medicals. Welcome to Medical Students Corner. Myself Dr. Krishneshwari. Today we are going to interpret two important antibodies which we are seeing in our day to day practice. And these two antibodies are in concern with thyroid disorders. And two antibodies are anti TPO, anti TPO that is anti thyroid peroxidase antibody or it is also known as anti microsomal antibody anti microsomal antibody and this is the first antibody and second is anti thyroglobulin anti thyroglobulin antibody so these are the two antibodies which we are going to interpret today so before going to the antibodies we should know something about the synthesis of thyroid hormones uh, which will make easy for the understanding of this antibodies so we will see in short okay so in synthesis of thyroid hormones there are four steps okay so first is synthesis of synthesis of thyroglobulin synthesis of thyroglobulin so this thyroglobulin uh, so it consists of about 140 amino acids 140 amino acids named tyrosine okay 140 amino acids named tyrosine and this thyroglobulin it is prepared from the follicular cells of the thyroid gland so this endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi apparatus it is situated in the follicular cells of the thyroid gland uh, synthesis this thyroglobulin it is a protein which consists of 140 amino acids named tyrosine so this is thyroglobulin thyroglobulin very very important please keep a note on this then second step is iodide trapping in this iodide trapping what happens is this iodide from the blood is trapped inside the thyroid cells. So the basement membrane of this thyroid cells are having more affinity towards this iodide and this iodide from the blood is trapped inside the thyroid cells. This is the second step and third is oxidation of iodide. Oxidation of iodide he in this third steps what happens is this iodide is it is oxidized to form iodine okay iodide oxidized to form iodine in the presence of very very important concern with the antibody in the presence of peroxidase in the presence of the enzyme peroxidase this iodide is oxidated to form iodine okay then fourth step is iodination of iodination of tyrosine so here what happens is this iodine uh, this tyrosine gets iodinated iodinated and mono iodothyronine is formed and two molecules come into form diiodothyronine and further t3 t4 etc will be formed we are not going to the details of this fourth step since it is not needed to understand about this antibodies so here we understood that the, in the first step there is a protein known as thyroglobulin and in the third step there is a enzyme known as peroxidase which oxidize this iodide to iodine so regarding this autoantibody which is produced from our body what happens is this anti-thyroglobulin acts against this thyroglobulin okay so what happens is this thyroglobulin will not be formed or once the thyroglobulin is formed it is distracted mostly this thyroglobulin will not be forming so what happens the first step is gone in the formation of thyroid hormone you understand second regarding this anti thyroid peroxidase antibody or anti microsomal antibody what happens is this antibody acts against the peroxidase which is very much needed in the third step you understand so what happens now the third step will not get complete by the presence of this auto antibody that is anti tpo or anti microsomal antibody so what happens no formation of thyroid hormones you understand so what happens there will be hypothyroidism you understand and 
This is the character of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So this both this antibody is present in autoimmune hypothyroidism that is Hashimoto's thyroiditis. You understand. So this is the uh, pathology behind this antibody. Why this antibody uh, becomes, why this antibody is causing hypothyroidism. You understand. So now we will see the normal value of this antibodies and in Harrison and Davidson normal values of this antibody is not given. In Harrison it is written as negative. If the antibody is negative then there is no antibody but more, I have searched so many studies and from so many studies published by our uh, journals peer reviewed important journals according to this and according to so many standard laboratories the normal value of anti TPO anti TPO is less than 35 international unit per ml. Anti TPO is less than 35 international unit per ml and anti thyroglobulin anti thyroglobulin is less than 20 international unit per ml. So this is the normal range of this antibodies. You understand? So if some patients is having hypothyroidism Please go for these antibodies also in order to diagnose autoimmune thyroiditis and also if one of the parents is suffering from autoimmune thyroiditis it may be seen in children also please go for autoantibodies in children also. So hope you have understand this session clearly if any doubt please let me know in the comment box. Thank you for your listening uh, please subscribe. Please share. We will come with another topic next day. Thank you so much.